Hello everyone, welcome to another Power Gaming video. Three of Coins gives you an opportunity to get an Exotic Ingram from an Ultra Kill. Now we don't know very much about how Three of Coins actually works from a code standpoint, but Bungie has said that killing the same Ultra over and over will decrease its effectiveness and that there is an invisible cooldown time. We do not know how long the invisible cooldown time is, but we can make a safe assumption. Since Three of Coins was intended to be mainly for a strike playlist, and the Vanguard Legacy Strikes can easily be knocked out in 8-10 to 10 minutes, then you have to assume that the Three of Coins invisible cooldown time is 8-10 to 10 minutes as well. So, that being said, how can you farm it? Now, me personally, I don't really farm for Exotic Ingrams. I do occasionally when I'm very, very bored, and this is how I do it. So... Let's look at all the Ultra missions that you have here in Destiny. You have Shrine of Oryx, where you can save a checkpoint at the boss. You have Eye of the Gate Lord, again, save a checkpoint at the boss. You have Scourge of Winter, again, save checkpoint at the boss. Going over to Mars, we have the Garden Spire. You can save a checkpoint here at the boss, go figure. And the Black Garden. The Black Garden has three Ultras at the end. I do not recommend killing all three of them and using a three of coins on each one, Instead, just kill one Ultra and leave. And lastly, on the Dreadnought, we have Summoner Circle. This one's kind of a pain in the ass, so don't bother with it. And we have Regicide. Now, Regicide, I'm not talking about Oryx. I'm talking about the room where the two Ultras spawn. You have a massive Taken Ogre and a massive Cabal Dude. Again, just like the Black Garden, I would recommend you kill one and then return to orbit. So, those are your Ultra missions that you have that you can do really, really easy, really, really quickly. Now, this is how I do it when I farm them, okay? So let's go ahead and go to our character select screen. And for those of you who do, this does require you to have three characters. If you do not have three characters, after I'm done explaining this, I'll explain a way that you can do it as well. So starting with my Titan here, we have three characters, Titan, Warlock, Hunter. Now, keeping in mind that Three of Coins has an invisible cooldown time, and it also lowers its effectiveness when you kill the same Ultra back to back to back, this is how I do it. I get on my Titan, and let's say I go and kill the Ultra in the Shrine of Oryx mission. After I kill the Ultra, I come back to this screen and I switch to my Warlock. With my Warlock, I will then go and kill um, one of the other ones, like let's say Regicide. I'll go into Regicide and kill one of those Ultras. After I kill the Ultra in Regicide, I will switch to my Hunter. I'll get my Hunter, and I will go kill the Ultra in Eye of the Gate Lord. After I kill the Eye of the Gate Lord, I come back to the screen, and I get my Titan again. By the time I return to my Titan, I should be about 8 to 10 minutes in, but I've already used three Three of Coins, so I have three chances for an Exotic. But I'm bypassing this little don't kill the same Ultra back-to-back -back bullshit, because I'm killing different Ultras on different characters, and I'm bypassing the invisible cooldown time, because I killed an Ultra with this guy, and then I didn't touch him again while I was using these two. So, using this method, I hate giving numbers here because this is completely random, it's completely up to RNG, guys. My, my experiences and your experiences can differ greatly. <coughs> but using this method, I usually get an exotic every five three of coins per character. So every five times I do it on my Titan, every five times I do it on my Warlock, and every five times that I do it on my Hunter. That's 15 three of coins, and I'm getting th uh, roughly three exotic Ingrams. Now, I'm going to say this again. This is completely up to RNGesus, all right? This is not a foolproof method, a foolproof method all right? You could do this, and you could burn through 33 of coins and not get an exo a single exotic Ingram. All right, this is a possibility. This is not a foolproof method by any means whatsoever. It works on RNG, and the way that it works is the game has a number. Let's say it's four, okay? Every time you use a three of coins, you generate a number. If the number that you generate matches the number in the code of the game, you get an exotic ingram. If the number that you generate is different from the code in the game, you do not get an exotic ingram. It is literally, you're rolling it like a set of die, and you're hoping that the numbers match up. That is what RNG is. It is a random number generator. So anyway, that's how you do it if you have three characters. Now, for those of you who do not have three characters, I'm going to show you a couple of other methods that you can use. Number one, the easiest by far, 
is to go into your Vanguard playlist and run Legacy Strikes. An Ultra is an Ultra is an Ultra. It doesn't matter if it is a level 20 strike playlist or a Vanguard Heroic Strike playlist. Ultra kills are Ultra kills. Three of Coins will give you an exotic in this playlist. These are very easy. As I said, you can knock them out to 8 to 10 minutes with a fairly skilled team. So why not? Just go run it. Uh, if you are a higher light level, I would recommend just go ahead and do the Heroic Strikes because you can also get Legendaries. You get a lot of you know, XP for your Vanguard and your factions. I mean, this is, this is the way to go for sure. But if you're just going for the exotics by themselves, knock this one out. It's the easiest. This one's really easy too, by the way. So uh, if you don't want to do that, Crucible is always another option. Skirmish it takes about seven to eight minutes to do a skirmish match. Uh, if you're a Crucible fan, <coughs> excuse me, just pop a three of coins before each match and you're good to go. Now, if you don't want to do strikes, you don't want to do Crucible, you can use the method that I was saying earlier with only one character, but it gets a little tricky. So let's say that you jump in here and you do Shrine of Oryx. After you're done with Shrine of Oryx, you have to keep in mind that there's an invisible cooldown time, roughly 8 to 10 minutes. So go do Shrine of Oryx, and then maybe jump into patrol, and go do a couple of patrol missions. Just one or two of them, just to knock it out so you're doing something productive in between. After you're done with a couple of patrol missions, and you've like got that 8 minute cooldown time out of the way, then go jump into Venus, and go kill the Eye of the Gate Lord. Back out. Go back into patrol, go do another couple of patrol missions, go do some bounties, whatever the case may be. Go to the tower, look around, say hi to people, have a dance, and then go kill one of the bosses in Regicide. So just always keep in mind that there is an invisible cooldown time, and killing the same ultra over and over and over decreases its effectiveness. Now, some may argue, oh, well, I've gone to Scourge of Winter, and I've killed Draxus over and over and over, and I got back-to-back -back exotic Ingram drops. I'm not saying that you didn't. All I'm saying is that it was complete luck, all right? Same with my way. I'm not saying that my way is better than that. I'm saying that it's all completely luck. But if you're going to do it, play to the strengths and play to where you have somewhat of an advantage. If you're just killing Draxus over and over, killing yourself, popping a three of coins, and killing him repeatedly, you're going to easily burn through like 50 to 100 three of coins and might come out of there with two or three exotics. I've, I, I've actually seen people do that. One of the people that I play with did this for like an hour and a half, just killing him constantly. He went through like 65 three of coins, and he only got two exotics. Using my method in an hour, I got like five or six exotics. And like I said, you're not... You might not have the same experience using my method that I did, but I feel like mine's better than this. I will say that. My, at least with mine, I don't feel like I'm just wasting three of coins. But anyway, guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Drop a comment in the box below and let me know if you know of any three of coin farming methods that have worked really well for you. If you enjoyed this video, guys, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.